Hello friends, I'm Michael Levine and welcome back after a very long two and a half year hiatus to Without Notes, a show that pretty simply titled is A Conversation Without Notes. My partner for the expedition tonight is Elliot Mintz. He's been on the show before and he was so fascinating, so intriguing, so interesting that we have invited him back. And um, I think you're going to find this conversation, at least I hope you will, as uh, interesting as the show was intended it to be. It's a conversation without notes. Elliot, welcome. Pleasure to be here again, Michael. It is. And uh, it's been a long two and a half years, my friend. Ooh, has it ever. Yeah. Has it ever. You understand? and we understand together that there is a perception of you <laughs> and the perception is that you're out to dinner at the fanciest restaurants in Los Angeles seven nights a week <laughs> invariably with a bold-faced name bold-faced names a celebrity guys um, and I know you and we've been friends a while and that is hardly true. So, and you've even argued that that perception interferes with the very uh, connection you yearn for. So let's Obviously. talk about Obviously, I mean, any, anybody who is interested in me on, on any meaningful level um, is not going to learn about uh, my innermost feelings, desires, dreams, hopes, wishes. And fears. And fears. Mm -hmm. By Googling my name or going on uh, Instagram or Facebook, they're, they're not. It's a, it becomes a complete and utter distraction. And artificial. Yeah, it is. And it's an artificial perception. Yeah. Uh, I, I tend to post about things like that because I know that there are many people who take an interest in public figures. Of course. And I have unique experiences and try and provide some insight into what they're like beyond the spotlight. But it doesn't, it, it's not representative of how I live my uh, daily life. Qu you know, as you and I have discussed, quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Yeah. Unique experiences. I don't know why I have the urge to ask you this question, but I know you had a re relationship with your father that was loving and respectful. You cared. You still talk about him with great affection, respect. Have you ever envisioned, or do you care to envision, what it would be like? to talk to him currently and try to explain to him the world we're in right now and how in the God's name he'd react, this would be unthinkable. You're right about your perceptions of <clears throat> my relationship with my father. I know it, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know that I'm right, but I know you're, you have a real right. veneration for my he, he was my moral compass. Yeah. Uh, he is the one that I would yearn to spend four more minutes with. Mm -hmm. And I've attempted to. Yes, how so? Uh, I, I attempted through uh, seances, mm -hmm. and I consult with um, psychics, mm -hmm. astrologers, readers, mm -hmm. intuitives, yep. and others mm -hmm. in attempt to establish a, a contact. It has not yet manifested itself. Mm -hmm. Could have something to do with the fact that my father was not a believer. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it takes two to have a telephone conversation. It really does. But when that moment comes, no, I won't attempt to spend any time explaining to him how things are yes. back here in the homeland. I just, I, you know, for those who are no longer here. I, I, I would love, to, I would like to envision the look on their face. There would what, be no, there would I be mean, no reference. What? There'd be no reference point. 
yeah. would be no reference point. I mean, imagine me telling your father or me telling anyone who's no longer with us, yeah, you know, we're living in this time that's kind of actually interesting and unusual where people get together romantically and then they decide to end their relationships with text message. And a text message is, I mean, what? He doesn't under he would not know what a text message yeah, is. Yeah, but even if we were to explain it, the concept would be, well, that is bizarre. It's like you ex trying to explain um, astrophysics yeah. to me. I have no reference point, no knowledge, et cetera. No, I'd be far more interested in saying, Dad, how is it with you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can Do you, you feel my presence? Would you want to, for example, I mean, this, I don't know why this question came to my mind, but using that logic, would you want to ask your father, do you miss Earth, Dad? Do you miss? Do you miss Earth? Do you miss the earthly plane? Would I that think that would be a good question to ask. Yeah. Oh. But I'm, st and I'd be curious. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, my father was a very good man, and if anybody was deserving of entree into heaven, he would be among them. Mm -hmm. Well, the promise of um, life hereafter suggests that it is a place of bliss mm -hmm. where one does not miss earth or think to themselves, yeah. gosh, I wish it was back there. Uh, or uh, I was thinking uh, what a joy it would be to be back on earth and on the 405 freeway in traffic, which is virtually every moment of every day. I don't think most people would yearn for that. And my father was never on the 405 in Good traffic. for him. And I am rarely on the 405 oh. in traffic. I don't, uh, I don't drive much anymore. I, I, t I tend to stay more to myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. I want to talk about misconceptions about you. First, we talked about you know you're out every night and you're always at the. I'm fence. not out every. Night. You're not out every no. night. Um, but I want to talk about other misconceptions about you. Uh, from your perspective, what would those be? What would be, from your perspective, surprising for people to know about you? from your vantage point? I'm not the media guy. Yeah. I'm not the guy who spent, you know, 15 years or so in broadcasting on radio or TV and then became a media consultant representing, you know, well-known figures. Extremely well-known. <laughs> yes. Did that, was there, grateful for many of the experiences, yep. ha happy I did it. Um, but it is far from where I am now. I still am semi-retired. Yep. So I do have some marvelous clients and they mm -hmm. do really good work. Mm -hmm. yep. And I take delight in trying to you know, promote what they do, see them prosper, and most importantly, I rejoice in the amount of philanthropic work that they do. I just want to personally know, this is my own feeling, that part of your vitality and youthfulness, and vitality is a good word, I guess, comes in, my experience of you, comes from the fact that you do continue to work. Now, you don't work 80 hours a week, no. but you do continue to work. And working seems, now maybe I've projected this onto you, work does seem to keep you a bit vital. Mm. I like the people that I work with. Yeah. Well, you won't. I, I know you well enough. You wouldn't work with anyone you didn't like with. I, don't I care. wouldn't work with anybody who I didn't love. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, I have in the past, mm -hmm. when it was called upon me to do, mm -hmm. My personal feelings about them weren't as uh, mm -hmm. essential as the mission that was put before me. Right. 
that you were a soldier in a war that had to be fought had, or won or yeah had mm -hmm. you had to uh, put out some smoking embers from time to time yeah and extol the virtues of those who were doing good mm -hmm. now it's much more personal it's more one on one and i have the advantage of time people are always talking uh, you know about we're all growing older and there's so little time left etc mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well i'm uh, you know among the ones who are growing older yes. in 2 years i'll be 80 it's unbelievable <laughs> That was a without notes that I think is going to be meaningful for quite some time. If you feel as I did that it is, I hope you'll uh, share it and enjoy it on social media, which I think is important. But also important is to come back for our next episode, which I think you will also find meaningful. Mm -hmm.